We can use overrides to place overrides in XSI on properties from different objects and different scene elements. For example, we can place overrides on partitions and render passes on individual polygon mesh objects, and the list goes on and on and on. What I'm going to show you in this video is a quick example of how to use an override to apply to a set of objects to be in control of a certain parameter. So let me show you by an example which will make the most sense. Here we have a simple scene with several primitive objects laid about. What I want to do is select all the spherical objects. So let's select this sphere, hold down shift, and select all the other spheres. We have four spheres in total. Once they're selected, we want to place them into a group. Now, it's not necessary to place an object into a group in order to work with overrides. But in this example, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it for group. Overrides can be applied to models, uh, branch selections of objects, as well as groups and partitions, among others. So in this case, we'll use a group. Let's go down to the MCP down here in the bottom where the edit panel is and click on a button that says group. This will go ahead and create a brand new group for us. The PPG by default will open up, so let's rename the group that we just created to Sphere Group. Okay, close the PPG. Hit 8 on the keyboard to open up an Explorer view. We can see here's our Sphere group, and if we expand it by clicking the plus icon, we can see all the members of that group, which happen to be all, sp all four spheres that we had selected. So select a group. Go to the main toolbar, click on property, and that's going to open up a submenu. Go all the way down to the override property and click on it with the left mouse button. That will automatically open up a property page window for the override. Now by default, the only property the override is going to have is the name of the override. We can remove mark parameters and we can add parameters. By default, there won't be any parameters associated with this override, so we'll have to go ahead and set that up ourselves. Click on the Add Parameters button and this window pops up. It looks like an Explorer window. What it, allows you to, what it allows you to do is simply go in there and select different parameters or properties that you'd like to associate with the override in order to control it with that override. So, let's expand one of these spheres. Let's go to the Polygon Mesh uh, node here, expand that out. We have a Geometry node, expand that out, and we see here are the different properties from the geometry uh, property page or the geometry node. Let's try to control this, um, this set of spheres or this group of spheres uh, using the override and let's control the properties for the U subdivisions and the V subdivisions. So to make multiple selections select one, hold down control and select the other or you can use shift. So we're going to control these two properties and you can go ahead and go into any of these other nodes and select other properties, kinematic properties, as well as visibility properties, and so on and so forth. Once you've selected the properties that you want to associate with the override, simply right click outside of the menu, and now you can see that the two properties I selected for these spheres, or this group of spheres, now appears here in the override property page window. Here's the U subdivisions and the V subdivisions. If I go ahead and change these properties or these parameters, I can see the changes are applied to the group of spheres in total. So I can use overrides to control one, two, five, ten properties, whatever I want, using only one override uh, node, which is controlling all of those properties. So you can override anything in XSI using, of course, the override property. So there you go. Overrides are very powerful and can be very useful and can aid you in a multitude of ways in your projects when working in Softimage XSI.